So if we, in the previous section, were able to use the structure keyword to create a structure, and if we, inside of our structures, gave member, well, member variables, right, um, to our structures, how can we access those? One note before we look at everything, and here's the... Here's the big hint, it's the dot separator. Um, but you cannot simply have a C out statement where you say C out department head. That does not work. We need to access those structure members individually. And like I said, we do that with the dot separator. So here on page 619, um, we can see right at the very top, um, if we've got department head, you'll remember from 11.2, department head was one of the three structures that we created. And employee number is one of the members of that data structure. So department, so D-E-P-T, head dot employee number equals. So that's our assignment statement for how we get a value into that structure's employee number member. So... We can see as we continue on a little bit more, um, we are assigning values to department head, to foreman, and to associate employee numbers in the very same way. We are using the dot with the member name that we are looking for, so employee number in this case. Um, and essentially, I think this is 620, it's still 619. Um, you would just, in a C out statement, um, use the member that you are looking to output there. So, you know, department head dot employee number, department head dot name, department head dot hours. Do not try to simply output the structure. That will not work. We're going to be able to overload that in the future, but for right now, that doesn't work. And the good news is, that's all there is to it. Uh, as long as you remember to be able to access the members of a structure with the dot separator honestly here in 3 or 11.3 you're going to be just fine